So, I just started watching Step by Step, which was a 90s show. If you have not heard of it, you need to look it up immediately. Um, and it got me into this total 90s flashback kick. And I'm obsessed with it now. And everything from SNCC to, um, God, I remember there was TGIF, like all of those ridiculous, um, I remember all that, and I, I think Jimmy Fallon is working on bringing it back or something, or somebody's bringing it back for a reunion, which sounds so cool, um, although I don't know what they're gonna do with Amanda Bynes, um, but I always remember Lori, De Lori Beth Denberg, the, she was this big white girl, she was so funny, um, but I was thinking about it, and so right now, we're in the time like, I feel like we're always looking back 20 years. So, um, during the millennium, from like 2000 to 2010, I feel like the big thing was the 80s. Everything from the hair and the trends and the clothes and the music. And now, I feel like we're in the 90s, but it's kind of like stealth. Like, we're stealth into the 90s. We're not admitting it. We're you know, 10 years ago, we were all about the 80s. It's really weird. So I was thinking about it, and I think a lot of 90s trends are already in full effect. I mean, if you go into an uh, an H&M or any, like, retail store geared to millennials, it's all about 90s clothes. And music and, like, the art. I'm, I love the 90s. I, it was so cheesy, and it had its time. But God, you think about it, and it came in, and it was kind of dark, and it had the rap hip-hop element, but everybody was wearing, like, monotone colors, and there was nothing vibrant. But then at the end of the 90s, it's like Britney Spears and NSYNC and bright pink, and it, it like, blew up with color and stuff. It was a cool decade. Um, looking back, there is so much cheese, but it's so good. It's so good in every way. Um, step by step being a huge, huge thing. I was talking about how the character of Cody, as a kid, I remember I thought I didn't like the character. He was kind of like the Urkel of the show. I was just like, ah, stupid. But the I liked the, fi the family story. But now I'm rewatching it. Cody's the best. And they wrote him to be some like, insanely smart, almost hippie, like, a really cool guy. Like, it, you could learn so much from him, and it made me think, like, our 90s cartoons and our 90s shows geared towards kids, man, they really had cool messages, and they were done really differently than they do, than they do shows now. It's really interesting. You should take a look. Um, anything from, oh god, what was that one? It was about two brothers who both had red hair. It was like, Oh, I can't remember. And then there was The Secret World of Alex Mack, and Clarissa Explains It All, and Ren and Stimpy, and Rocco's Modern Life. That cartoon was fucking weird. That was a good one. Look up Rocco's Modern Life. Um, and Doug and Rugrats. Holy shit. I mean, there was so much. And now they're bringing back the Full House reunion. Um, honestly, I think... The 90s stuff is huge right now. It's so cool, too, because it's such a good decade. But um, I just wanted to do a brief video on that, and then maybe in the future make, like, a 90s tribute video full of good 90s music. We should do a top 10 list of best 90s songs. Ooh, that'd be a good one. The 90s had amazing music. Um, anyway, just a trip down Nostalgia Road. But hope you're having a good hump day and see you tomorrow.